What's up, YouTube? I'm out here uh, buffing a wax in the car today. Uh, it's not coming out how I wanted it. Never does. I think it's because I got this old Harbor Freight uh, buffer. It does all right, but it doesn't get all the scratches out unless I'm doing something wrong. But uh, I'll show y'all a little bit on what it's looking like so far. I still got like a little bit of a little bit of specs, a couple scratches still in it. But let me show y'all. What's going on? No, that is not pearl paint. That is still stuff in the paint, but I've buffed this I don't know how many times. Let's see if you can see some of the scratches. There goes a couple scratches right here. Can't get those out. I might just leave it. Haven't done this yet. I've done it a little bit. This is the side I haven't done big difference so I guess I could say I'm pleased with that but I, I'm kind of picky when it comes to this kind of stuff that's why I always give up on buffing because I can't never get it perfect how I want it and I want to learn how to do this on my own but yeah the car's dirty right now because I live on a dirt road in an old trailer hood <laughs> but yeah Here's some of the products I use. I got this from Jack's Wax. We got a local Jack's Wax around where I live. About time for a new pad right here. That's the, that's like the, like the, the, the deep cut pad. I don't know what you'd call it. This right here is the final finish pad. I got my little squeegee thingy. And I use mostly Chemical Guys products. Got all kinds of stuff. Got my oh, got Maguire's. Sorry. Anyways, uh, yeah, I use mostly Chemical Guys stuff. I was showing you. I got a little bit of Jack Swag. This for the, I spray on the carpet and bite out of that. I had to get some more of that. I gotta get some more pads. I get these little things for AutoZone. It's for uh, the tires. Spread the tires right on there so I don't sling everywhere. Got the old 40 pack, or well, my bad, 30 pack microfiber, microfiber towels from old Walmart. And uh, yeah, I just wanna jump on here and show y'all a little bit that I have got done on the car. It's turning out all right. It'll look better at dark. I mean, it ain't too bad now, but like I said, those little, I guess I could pull it off as pearl paint. <laughs> but, yeah, big difference from right here. I ain't hit that with the stage one. I've hit this with the stage one and two. I ain't done the final polish because uh, I'm up on the fence. I'm doing another stage one, a couple more passes just to get this those specs out of the car. I've done clay barred the whole hood. Well, this side of the car. I haven't done this side of the car. But yeah, I've done clay barred it. Got a lot of stuff out of it with the clay bar. And that's the stage two pad. And I use, this is for the stage two pad. Track specs, perfect polish. And then for the, uh, Stage one cut, jack wax, and then stage three jack wax as well. All this stuff works really well. So if you got jack wax near you, I would definitely recommend going there to get all your car care products. But yeah, see, I got how dirty it is out here. Well, I might be getting some of the scratches still in my paint because dust flies over here. And then we got, that's probably one culprit. Have to give him some rat poisoning later. <laughs> but anyways, if any of y'all want a Borla Stinger exhaust, I have them for sale right here. 500 or best offer. So if anybody wants to buy this off of me for IRS cars, I went ahead and got the SLP cat back 
I did have them nice and polished, but they done got a little messy again. Show you a little interview. Looks pretty good. I might do the sanding them down to, I think it's start out with a thousand grit, 1500, and then 2000 and 2500 to get that chrome look. I'll show you all my little interior thing. That's what I was talking about. I was going to hydro dip in one of my previous videos. Starting not to like it. It looks a little tacky. Let me know what y'all think. And then, uh, I don't think I served y'all the interior either. But here's the interior of the car. Pretty clean. No rips. It's about to rip. Seat's looking a little rough. But not bad. Back seats are fine. Got the car seat base right there. Dev mobile. I got my double den in. Looks great. I had, I got this from Amazon. Bought it, it was black, and then I spray painted with SEM trim paint. Best paint on the market for interior matchup color. Um, turned out really good. Like, almost perfect. So that stuff weighs nice. I had to, I wanted, this right here was all this dark parchment color, but I painted it, uh, done the tape line, painted that the same color as that, so it flowed nice. I'm thinking about getting me a new ball because I'm not really a fan of the that ball. And but yeah, I think the radio turned out great. But what y'all think about the, the hydro dip stuff. I'm I'm not liking it. You can see where I messed up on it. See all like the bubbling and stuff. I think it's because I didn't wait for the white paint to dry. So yeah, there goes your interior. I don't really know where this video is going. I'm just posting something. Sorry the heat just kicked on. Show y'all. Pull. Show y'all under the hood. I know y'all didn't see this, but this video is gonna be all around everywhere. Detailed the engine again. Looking good, looking good. In another video, we'll talk about what I want, what the future plans are for this car, because. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and put it in this video. Uh, my dyno numbers, I got the dyno sheet right over here, so I'll show y'all. But in another video, we'll definitely be talking about what the future plans are for uh, this motor. So stay tuned on that. Get the dyno sheet right here. All right, so the people I've talked to says it isn't too bad for this car. So it's about right for a full bolt-on car. That is long tube headers, full exhaust, um, GLT colder intake, 60 millimeter Acu-5 throttle body. Um, and I believe that's it. Yeah, still stock gear in the back. So it's a little, little Mostly. But anyways, um, right here we got 298. Uh, the guy at Power Curve said if he tunes it on the dyno, he'd probably get this up. So I'd probably get it up to, sorry, let's just focus. Probably get it up to a 300 and something. Hopefully 310 maybe. Maybe not, we'll see. Um, and torque, we got a 299. So... I want to get both of these up. I want to have, I want to have 300 horsepower. I mean, I know, I know that's not a high goal for nowadays, but it'll be good for this car. Car's still fun. 
Hell yeah. I gotta figure out how to turn this camera. I guess I can't turn it. But anyways, guys, that'll do it for today's video. And we will definitely be talking about what we want to do to the motor to get hopefully about 400 horsepower. And if the camera right here isn't like right on my face, then sorry about that. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. And um, we'll see you on the next one.